In this video, we are going to see how to send next week's Google Calendar events notifications to Slack. So let's say that I've got a couple of events in my Google Calendar and I want that on one particular day of the week, I should be able to send notifications for all the events which are scheduled for the next week. Now, how can I do that? For this, I'll have to set up some integration between Google Calendar and since I want to send notifications to my team, here I've taken the example of Slack, which is a social messaging app. You can send it to Discord or any other medium. So I have to set up some integration between Google Calendar and Slack. Now, how can this be done? For this, I'm using Public Connect software where our trigger application would be Google Calendar and our action application would be Slack. So the moment you know that there is a particular event scheduled for the next week, automatically your team would receive a message. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pably.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, we can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if we are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pably Connect as we are doing this integration using Pably Connect software. Here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab, create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is to send next week's Google Calendar events notifications to Slack if there is an event. So I should be able to send next week's events notification to my team. Now I'm going to click on create here. So here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one here is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of our trigger application. So now the trigger application, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule my notifications. So I want to send these notifications on a particular day of every week. Here it is asking me how often you want to run your workflow. So I'm going to select days of the week. Now, which particular day? Let's say I want to send it on Saturday of every week. Now, what is the time? So let's say it is 12 p.m. So at 12 p.m. on every Saturday, I want to send a notification to my team. Let's click on save. So here we can see that it has been scheduled and how often you want to run your workflow days of the week days saturday time is now this is the utc time 6 30 the local time here is 12 pm so once this is done what is my next objective i need to fetch the current date i should know the current date to fetch the current date i'm going to use a feature by pably which is date time formatter let's click on this and here the event would be to retrieve current date let's click on connect and now what is the format so i want it in this format we have got various options here and then do you want to include time in response so i don't want that i have made it as false let's click on save and send test request and here i have received current date which is 14th of january so once i have received this now what is my objective i am going to choose another action application here and all the events that are there in my google calendar i want to get all those events so the application here would be Google Calendar. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to get all events. So all the events that are a part of my Google Calendar. So here, yes, we have get all event. This retrieves all the events of a calendar. Now I'm going to click on connect. So here Pably Connect is asking to connect itself with a Google Calendar account. So I'm going to click on add new connection. It is asking me to sign in with Google. Let's click on this. So now it is asking me to choose the account. So once done, it wants to access my Google account. This is absolutely secure. I'm going to click on allow. And as soon as I do that here, you can see that the authorization has been successful. So here it has automatically captured the calendar I'm working on. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. 
Now, as I do that here, you can see that it has given me all the events that I have created. So here you can see as I take you down the summary. So this is both the 2023 and then I have another summary. So here it is demo event. Then I have another event, which is test event. And then I have one more event where it is demo event two. And then here you can see that it is test event two. So all the events that I have created, I have received it here. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle this towards the left. Why? Because I want the response in advanced format. And now as I click on save and send test request here, you would be able to see that the items. So these are the items that I have received. So here you would be able to see that I have received the response in array format. So this includes all the events that were there in my Google calendar. Now I want to segregate it one by one. So I want just one event at one time. For this, what I'm going to add another action step and here I'm going to choose another feature by Pavli which is iterator so this helps in segregating the data so this is very important here I have to choose items now I'm going to click on save and send test request as I do that here you would be able to see all the records of only the first event that has been recorded in my Google Calendar so here I have the created date updated date ID creators email address so I have got this information and this is only for one particular event. Now, once I have received this, what I'm going to do is this particular start date that I have here, start date time, I'm going to change the format here. How do I do that? So I'm going to add another action step. And then here I'm going to again use date time formatter. Let's click on this. And this time I'm going to format the date only. Let's click on connect. Here I have to map this information and how do I map? So as I click on this, it is going to show me the previous step. And now I'm going to go to iterator, which is step four. And here I have to look for the created, the start date time. So this is the start date time. And now the from format. So this is exactly the same format and the two format would be year, month and date. Let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that I have received the start date of my event. So once I have received this, what is my next objective? I need to calculate the number of days between my event and the current date. For that, I'm going to use spreadsheet formulas and I'm going to add another action step. This time again, I'm going to choose a feature by Pabli, which is number formatter. So let's click on this. This has got the spreadsheet formulas. That's why we are using this. The action event here would be spreadsheet formulas. Let's click on connect. Now, as I do that here, I have to fill in the formula. So this here is the spreadsheet formula that is required to understand the duration between the two dates. So what we have to do is here within the first set of inverted commas, we have to map the event date. For that, I'm going to go to step five. And this is the date of my event, the start date. And now within the second set of inverted commas, I have to map the current date. So this is it. Now, as I click on save and send test request, it is going to tell me exactly the number of days which are between the two dates, between the current date and the event date. So there are 11 days between the current date and the event date. What is my next objective? I'm going to put a filter. Now, filter is another interesting feature by Pabli where you can put conditions. So I'm going to choose this and here I'm going to select. First of all, I'm going to go to the last step, step six. And here I'm going to take the result, which is the number of days. Now, if this is greater than zero and then I'm going to add another condition again, I'm going to go to the last step. Let's go to result. And if this is less than I want a gap of eight days, basically a week. So I'm going to write eight here. So why have I put this condition? So I want that, let's say it is Saturday today. So from Monday to next Sunday, you know, if there is any event, then a notification should be sent to my team today itself. That's why I have put this filter. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here, of course, you can see that the condition is false. Why? Because the gap is 11. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to now add another action step and this time the application would be Slack. Let's click on this. 
and now the action event here would be to send channel message let's click on connect so i'm going to click on add new connection connect with slack and here it is asking me for the token type since we want to send a message and a message may contain a url or an image so we always go for user let's click on save so as i do that pably connect is requesting permission to access the pably slack workspace let's click on allow and here we can see that the authorization has been successful now here we have to map this information the name of the channel message etc for this i'm going to take you to my slack account so here this is my slack account here i have got different workspaces as i went to pably workspace so here you can see there are various channels these are the different channels and i have just created a channel the name is calendar events reminder so this is the channel and now i'm going to take you back to pably connect and i'm going to map this information again as i click on this so here you can see all the channels i'm going to look for calendar events reminder this is the channel now what is the message here so the message here is upcoming event reminder okay now first of all the name of the event so i'm going to map it how as i go to iterator i would be able to fetch all the details so first of all the name of the event so the name of my event here is birthday 2023 then what is the start date so the start date is again let's go to iterator and as i take you down so this is the start date then i need the end date and date and time so again let's go to iterator and here is the end date and time so start date end date now i'm going to go down and here i'm going to click on save and send test request and as i do that here you would be able to see that i have received the api response and this is the message that would have been sent on my slack account so let me take you to my slack account now so here you can see that we have received a message upcoming event reminder this is the event the start date and the end date this basically means that our integration process is a complete success now to check this in real time what we are going to do is we are going to go back to google calendar and here i'm going to create an event for tomorrow okay so let's say that uh, the event here is what's the name it is a 15th jan special okay this is the name of my event and now i'm going to click on save so here the event has been saved going back to pably connect now here it's already 12 o'clock so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the time to 12 and then this is to 02 so now let's click on save so what's the time right now it is 12 1 so exactly in one minute what should happen i should receive a message in my slack so this is just to check this in real why because the difference between today and tomorrow would be one day so it is greater than zero and less than eight so now i'm going to take you back to slack and yes here you can see that we have received a message exactly at 12 2. so basically this says that our integration process is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to public connect and here let's see what we have done so here our trigger application was scheduled where we had scheduled the days of the week and then first action application was a feature by public date time for matter where we had to fetch the current date then our action application was google calendar where the event was get all events then we had chosen iterator which is another feature by pably to, to segregate the events next we had again date time formatter by pably where we had to format the start date of the event and then we chose number formatter to use the spreadsheet formulas this was to calculate the duration between the start date of the event and the current date and then we had filter by pably where we had put conditions and finally the actions application was slack where we had to send a channel message i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately if in case you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. 
to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.